Crane here. Report. I'm no longer cooperating with Rise. He wanted me to kidnap Jade Aldemir and dump her with him so he can make her fight in his pit. Yes, and? Was that it? What do you mean, was that it? I'm not a fucking human trafficker. You seem to have forgotten how much is riding on this file, Crane. If Rise wants one girl, then give her to him. You'll be there to keep an eye on her, won't you? What the... What the fuck kind of humanitarian outfit are you guys? And for that matter, if this project file can save the world, why keep it a fucking secret? We're not paying you to be insubordinate, Crane. Get this done. Fuck you, asshole. What happened? None. And our gas man, Jeff, often quit on us last week. He was kind of irreplaceable. Maybe I can track him down. Maybe, maybe, definitely, and get on it fast. Word is he's built up his own little fortress somewhere behind the train station. <laughs> Do you copy? Brecken, do you copy? Shit. Jade, this is Crane. Do you copy? Crane, how much antisense did you get? Listen, Rice wanted me to... He was... Look, he screwed us, okay? I only got five vials. What? Damn it! That's only a few days' worth. Listen, Crane, we've got a situation here. There's been an outbreak on the 18th floor. Get back here ASAP, and don't lose any of that antisen. You know the drill, guys. Get to the nearest safe house and wait until dawn. This is the last warning before dark. Thanks for the supply. So you beat Rice to the airdrop, huh? Now that's impressive. Hey, have you seen that house with the red smoke pouring out of it? If Rice's people spot it, they're gonna come knocking on his door. Someone ought to warn him. I've got enough trouble right now, but I'll think about it. Whoa. What's up? You know Jafar, right? The one from the garage? He's looking for a good runner. For what? He wouldn't talk about it on the radio. I think it's something important. Hmm. Okay. What's on your mind? Mr. Crane, are you familiar with a man named Vulcan Yasif Dahl? Vulcan Dahl? Yeah, of course. He owns Vulcan Petrol Engineering. He's the richest man in Iran. That's exactly right. And Mr. Dahl has need of your service. I didn't know he was still in the city. Most of his employees were evacuated, but his two chief engineers are still here in the slums. They're brothers. Twins, in fact. Tolga and Fatin. They've been working on a special project. It's highly confidential, and I'm afraid I can't discuss it, but I can assure you its importance is nearly beyond measure. Well, then I won't bother trying to measure it. The brothers are brilliant engineers, but they're also somewhat, uh, idiosyncratic. This and the problems of operating in the current environment have put them behind schedule. Mr. Dahl would like you to assist them to get the project back on track. You will be well compensated, as you can imagine. Doing what? Simply do as they ask. You'll only be needed from time to time, and the task will be of short duration. Removing obstacles, you might say. They'll contact you when your assistance is required. I'll think about it. There's a lot to be done around the tower. 
I hope you find some time to take a look at the board. Hey, I saw your notice on the bulletin board. Uh, you're a runner. Excellent. That idiot Dawood sat on my glasses in the canteen and I'm blind as a bat. <laughs> How can I help Alfie if I can't see anything? I've got a backup pair at my place. It's not far away. It's, you know, I can't get there myself. You need anything else while I'm there? Oh my god, you'll do this for me? Thank you. Oh, and um, one more thing. See, we're going to start a vegetable garden on the roof, you know, so we can maybe not starve to death. But nobody here really knows how to do it. On my birthday, I, I got a book on gardening. I never read it. It's growing vegetables for dum-dums or something like that. It should be on a bookcase, but, you know, you might have to look around for it. People are counting on you to help them out. Please. How are zombies like... Jade just told me there's been an outbreak on the 18th floor. I've got to get what little antis and I have back to the tower pronto. Do you have the antis in? Give it to me. So what happened? One person turned and had a couple of other people trapped. We could have sealed off that one apartment, but Brecken wanted to save as many lives as possible. It went bad. Somebody had to make the call. And now, we've lost the entire floor, including... including a couple of kids. You'd better talk to Brecken. I have to get these meds to Lina. This is where we get the announcements about the Antis intros. And they've just stopped. They will catch us! Lena had to step up. Maybe she should be in charge. What the fuck, Crane? I'm no leader. I'm a goddamn parkour instructor. We saw all the free running. Wait, that was you? Brecken, you showed these people how to survive. Do you know what my pockets were full of when I showed up in Haran? Fucking business cards. I was hoping to drum up some more students. Maybe get enough so I could save up and buy a house. Instead of that poxy little flat I've been renting. Listen. I'm gonna talk to Rice myself. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hang on a minute. I reckon these people still need you. Okay, just, just give me some time, all right? There's, there's gotta be another way. A better way. Fine. I'll wait. No for long. Finally, I get to do some actual good. Hey, Crane. It's good to see you. What happened here, it's so very sad.
I spoke with Brecken. He's depressed and wants to go talk to Rice himself. Except that'll only get him killed. Maybe I can help out. I spoke with Brecken. He's depressed and wants to go talk to Rice himself. Except that old. Raheem? Raheem, what are you doing up here? Hey, Craig. Can I trust you? <laughs> How much you had to drink, kid? Can I or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? It's that skyscraper. The scout found a volatile nest in there. We take that out, and then running missions at night, we could totally do that. So I'm thinking, if we planted some explosives, Oh, Jesus, Raheem, you're not still on that. Crane, we have to do this. As long as that nest is there, we'll never be able to gather up enough antis. It would work. We make a good team. Ah! Shit, oh my... Ah! Don't drop me! Don't drop me! Oh, fuck. <laughs> See? Told you we make a good team. Look, Raheem, we don't have any explosives. None. The closest thing to what you're talking about are Spike's firecrackers. It, it, it's impossible. You don't know what it's like. All I can do is watch. Sit on my ass and watch everything happen and do nothing. I don't want to die here, Krim. Not like this, not helpless. If I go out, I'd rather go out doing something. What's this? I was set to fly out on Sunday. They quarantined us on Thursday. I already had my bags packed. I'll... Get, look, I'll keep my eyes open, okay? If there's some way we can make this happen. Whatever. This is Crane, do you copy? What do you want, Crane? I want you to start the antizen drops again, at least near the tower. These people need help. We put you in Haran to find our file, not to play Mother Teresa. Or does this mean you've reconsidered Ryza's proposal? Perhaps Miss Aldermere would even be willing to cooperate, test her skills in a new environment. You start giving us some antizen and then... then we'll talk about what Ryze wants. Oh, it's us now, is it? Well, I'm afraid your request is out of the question in any case. Things have gotten a bit strained with the Ministry. Resuming the airdrops would not be politically advantageous at the moment. Oh, you assholes take the fucking cake, you know that? You and your fucking file. Look, I'll locate the file for you, but I'm gonna take a good long look at it before I decide what to do about it. Loud and clear, what can I do for you? I don't know how much time we have, so the short version. I need your help. Rice has turned an abandoned school into a supply dump. And I think it may be where he's storing his antizen. If you and I sneak in there, we could get all the meds the tower needs. Are you with me? Yeah, I'm with you. Great. Look for me in one of the boxcars on the train trestle near the school. Okay. And listen, Jade. 
If we don't find that Antizen, I'll need to talk to you about something. Jade knows where we might be able to get more Antizen. I'm supposed to meet her in one of the boxcars near the school. What's the matter? That brute Harun threw my sister Ida out of the village. She's a widow with two children, Yasmina and Jamil. They snuck under the fence to go after their mother. Yasmina came back yesterday, but Ida and Jamil are still out there. Please, can you find my sister and nephew and bring them back? I'll do what I can. Where's the girl? In my house. She's hiding from Harun. She thinks he'll throw her out too! 
Maybe I'll talk to Haroon. He's not here. Oh, well, you'd better go find him. I need to find Haroon. Nobody likes Haroon, but if you ask me, he's the only one. I'm looking for Haroon. Haroon? Mr. Toothache was a man that would be Haroon. Mina? Hey, I want to help your mom. Can you talk to me? Your mom's in danger. I need to find her. She's gone. She was beaten. Harun says you can't be here once you've been beaten. I'm going to get her to a place that has medicine. They won't make her leave. Now, can you tell me what happened to you and your brother? Me and Jamil went under the fence to find our mom. It took a while, but we found her at the houses behind the tunnel. Only there was a biter there. He beat me. And my mom hit him on the head. You were bitten? Only a little. I tried to get away. What did your mom do? She put us in a house, and then she went to look for medicine. When she came back, she told Jamil to wait there. And then she took me to the man. Did he give you medicine? Yes. He said we would both need more. But that me and my mom could stay in his basement as his puppets. I don't know what he meant, but my mom got scared and hit him and told me to run, so I did. It's all right, Yasmina, I'll find her. Where does the man live? I'm not sure. It's a house with hammers and, and axes. And where's your brother? Jamil is hiding in the house with the red flowers. You're a brave girl, Yasmina, but I need you to stay here a little longer, okay? And keep away from Harun until I get back. Can you do that? You're really going to find my brother and mom? Yeah, you bet I will. Thank you, mister. Where can I find Haroon? Yeah, most likely he's under the bridge. That is where most trolls are. Can't you see I'm busy? Why'd you force that woman to leave the village? You mean Ida? She's infected. All infected gotta go outside. Is that Gersel's rule? Some people don't want to make the tough calls around here. Well, I did. If Ida didn't want to get thrown out, she shouldn't have let herself get bit. Tough luck. <laughs> Bad break. What about her kids? What about them? There's no answers in around here. 
I was doing them a favor so they wouldn't have to watch us hacking up their mum when she turns into a fucking monster. I'm starting not to like you. Hey, I'm not looking for trouble. You seem like a good guy. Have a nice day, okay? Now go fuck yourself. My conscience is clean. I did the right thing. this. This is Tolga. And Fatim. We work for Mr. Tolga and we are ready to put you in the house. Get on the double. We need quick. Hey, that's rude. Tolga, don't, don't talk to me like that. Shut up, Fatim. Get on the radio. Idiosyncratic, great.
Hang on, take it easy, take it easy. I won't hurt you. You're Jamil, right? Y yes Okay, I'm looking for your mom. Can you tell me where she is? Yasmina was bitten by one of those creatures. So mom took her to a man that found a medicine that fell from the sky. She said his name was Salim. Do you know where Salim lives? In the tool shop. All right, now listen to me, Jamil. I'm going to go get your mom and come back for you. So you wait right here, okay? Okay, just come back soon. All right, we will. Don't worry. substation. Just find the control panel and turn the switch on. Done. Good. Now we've got to do the same thing in the second substation.
Hey, open up in there. Who are you? Crane, from the tower. I heard a woman screaming. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's my wife. She's, a uh, she's giving birth. Oh, shit. Is there anything I can do? We need alcohol. To disinfect. Please, help us. Alcohol? Yeah, I've got, yeah, I've got some alcohol. Thank you. Oh, this is gonna be a big help. But, uh... Is that all you could find? It's not really enough. I'd go out myself, but I can't leave my wife now. Let me see if I can find some more. Hey, it's, hey, it's Crane. I found some more. Yeah! Great, because we're going through it like water. But, ah, oh, is that it? It's almost enough, but not quite. You must have a lot of germs in there. Oh, with this terrible plague, everything has to be clean. Spotless! I can't risk my newborn getting infected. We must have more alcohol. The disease is actually transferred from a bite that causes... Hey, I've got the al I've got the alcohol. Everything okay in there? Oh, you got some more? Uh, yeah, here. Oh, cheers. Bye! I could let it go, but I don't think I'm going to. me. I'm near the cafe. Anything I should know? Stay clear of the lab. They just afford the milk.
All right, I've got your satchel. Now, where's the camera? Oh, my God. You're incredible. It's in the trunk of a black car on the infamy bridge. Oh, that's not what I was hoping you'd say. Believing in angels now? If there are demons, there are Rice's people are everywhere. I just saw some of them in the tunnel near the lake. Couldn't tell exactly what they were doing, but they looked pretty busy. Thank <laughs> you. 
recipes. He said, a falafel diet, big book of death, and simple tricks to get the chicks, DVD player user manual. Done, you hear me? 